Looks like I'm going to be first back to the clay pits. See you there, eventually. <laughs> first back to the clay pits, eh? We'll see about that. Last one there is a stinky rubbish truck. Hey, watch out, Bill. Or is it Ben? Watch out, Ben. Uh, Bill, uh, well, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Bill? No. I'm the best, Ben. <laughs> oh, really? Watch this then. <laughs> I'm the best. I won. And you're the stinky rubbish truck. Charlie the Playful Purple Engine is always laughing and joking with whoever is there to listen. Hey, Salty! Why are pirates called pirates? Ah, uh, oh, I don't know, Charlie. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! <laughs> oh, good one, Charlie! <laughs> Not everybody likes Charlie's jokes. But sometimes they just can't help laughing anyway. <laughs> mm. I've had enough of your jokes for one day, Charlie. Oh, oh, you haven't heard the one about the bar. Not now, Charlie. Hey, Thomas, what's pink and grey and has four feet? Uh. I don't know, Charlie. What is pink and grey and has four feet? An elephant with its tongue sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tickles me. Oh, good one, Charlie. Hey, Percy, Charlie's got a joke about an elephant. Oh, I've got lots of jokes. Millie, the narrow gauge engine, loves her job at Ulstead Castle. She loves being a really useful engine and doing whatever needs to be done on the estate. Running errands for the groundskeeper and showing visitors around the castle grounds. Luke is also a narrow gauge engine and he loves his job at the Blue Mountain Quarry. He feels right at home in the noise and the dust. He loves collecting crushed stone and carrying boulders. He really loves whooshing through the dark tunnels and bursting out the other side. One day, Luke was given a job that took him out of the quarry to Ulstead Castle. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, my name's Luke. I've come with the stone for the castle. Great! Well, I'm the Earl, and this is Millie. Bonjour! She'll show you where to take the stone. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Gator. Thomas nearly popped a piston when he realised who he'd seen. Gator? Yes, it's me. Just delivering some rock salt to the quarry. Does Percy know you're back? No, not yet. But please be sure to tell him when you see him. I will. See you later, Gator. <coughs> Bust my buffers. Gator's back. Wait till Percy hears the news. Thomas raced into the shunting yard and found Percy working hard, keeping the trucks in order. Look out, Thomas. What's the rush? Percy! You'll never guess who's back on Sodor in time for Christmas. Who? <gasps> Is it Santa Claus? Gator! Gator? Really? My old friend? Yes! <whistles> This'll be the best Christmas ever. Well, 
Um, where is he then? Oh, he had to make a delivery to the quarry. Thanks, Thomas. Maybe I'll make a delivery to the quarry too. But you don't have any trucks. What are you going to deliver? Me! <laughs> And these are our two fire engines, Bell and Flynn. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Bell has had water cannons fitted to her boiler for firefighting, as you have already seen demonstrated, Bell. Uh, sorry, sir. Yes. Very impressive. Hmm. Flynn, on the other hand, has a special water tank for his hoses and water cannons. And he is able to run on both rail and road. Right. This is how I switch from rail wheels to road wheels. Well done. Very useful. Hmm. But tell me, Sir Topham Had, do you really need two fire engines? Wouldn't one be enough? One fire engine would do for a very small island, but two fire engines are much safer than one. I see. Fair point. Hmm. Aha! The real thing! The alarm has sounded! There's a fire in some sheds near Wellsworth. You must go! Look at that. Two minutes early. <laughs> Good thing I hurried you, or you would have been late. That's not true. I always get my passengers to the station on time. <laughs> you must be slowing down, though, Thomas. Lately, I seem to beat you to the level crossing every time. I'm not slowing down. I'll show you. Let's race again. <whistles> Thomas and Bertie think racing is great fun. Sometimes Bertie is quicker. Especially when Thomas has to wait for sheep on the line. And sometimes Thomas is quicker. Especially when Bertie has to stop for workmen repairing the road. Slow down, Thomas. You'll burst a valve. You'll rattle an axle loose. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But lately, every time they have a race, no matter how fast Thomas puffs... Oh, no! Bertie manages to win. Stephen is one of the oldest engines on the island of Sodor. He collects things for the Earl and the castle. And he shows visitors around the estate But Stephen is very slow. Move along, slow coach! One morning, after Spencer had dropped the Duke and Duchess off for a visit to the castle, he saw the Earl talking to Stephen. Stephen, I have a special job for you. Once a week, I need you to collect scones from the bakery and cream from the dairy. They are for our afternoon teas at the castle tea rooms. Oh, yes, sir. I'll be the afternoon tea express. The visitors will wait a long time for their afternoon tea if Stephen is doing the job. I'll have you know they used to call me the rocket because I was so speedy. Pah! Compared to a horse and cart, maybe. <laughs> This made Stephen very cross. Oh, I'll show Spencer. Paxton was in the shunting yard picking up some trucks when Toby arrived. Morning, Toby. How are you? You'll never guess what happened. Thomas backed into me at the water tower. <laughs> he got soaked. I'm afraid poor Thomas has lost his puff. Lost his puff? Oh, no. That sounds serious. Paxton felt terrible. Thomas, I'm so sorry. I made you be silly and lose your puff. But... Don't worry. I'll find it for you. Stay here. I'll be back just as soon as I can. 
but Paxton, what are you talking about? Lost puff, lost puff. Uh, what does a lost puff even look like? Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! Paxton thought he'd found Thomas's lost puff. But it turned out to be Gordon, building up a good head of steam as he pulled the express. Paxton did feel silly. That wasn't Thomas's puff. One morning, Diesel was shunting some troublesome trucks in the yard. <laughs> now get in line, you silly trucks, and stay still. Edward had delivered trucks of milk, butter and cheese for Hero to collect. Right, now it's your turn. Stop biffing the trucks, Diesel. You're spilling the milk. It's the only way to get these troublesome trucks to do what you want, Edward. <laughs> so mind your own business. Oh. A little later, Hero arrived. Good morning, Diesel. Good morning, trucks. <laughs> oh, Hero, don't be such a Mr. Nice engine. These trucks are nothing but troublesome, and you need to show them who's boss. <laughs> no, Diesel. These trucks are no trouble. I am master of the railway. Hero collected the trucks and puffed away. Listen to Thomas and Percy. If only I had a chuff or a puff. Stafford's flatbeds of timber were soon ready. What's the matter, Stafford? You look sad. I know I'm just an electric engine, Thomas, but I want to chuff and puff like a steamy. Maybe we could help you. Could you? Of course, Stafford. We'll teach you to chuff and puff. Just follow us and you'll sound like a steamy in no time. So Stafford raced along with Thomas and Percy. Listen to my chuff, Stafford. Now you try. Chuff, chuff. Chuff, 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 chuff. That's good. Now, listen to Percy puffing. Now, try and puff, Stafford. Puff, 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 puff. Well done, Stafford. You sound just like a steamy. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, Percy. So Stafford went to the docks. It was a misty day on the island of Sodor. At Brendam Docks, Cranky was unloading a big shipment of building supplies. What's that noise? Ah! <laughs> That'll be the flatbeds of fear, Thomas. The flatbeds of fear? What are they? Well now, me hearty. Long, long ago, an old engine was puffing along the tracks, pulling three flatbeds, when suddenly his coupling snapped. Ah! And the flatbeds rolled away. Now the flatbeds roll the rails, a whistling and a wailing, and looking for an engine to couple up to. <laughs> so, me hearty. Beware the flatbeds of fear. They might come rolling after you. <laughs> Enough of your tall tale, Salty. <laughs> Thomas has work to do. Off you go, Thomas. Now, Scruff didn't mind looking scruffy, but some of the other engines couldn't understand how he could bear it. Dear, oh dear, such a messy engine. Oh, I'd hate to be that dirty. 
If I looked that scruffy, I'd stay in my shed. It doesn't bother me. I'm happy just the way I am. Right, let's get you trucks back to the waste dump and get scratching! At Knapford Station, Scruff saw the fat controller and stopped to say good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, my! Scruff, your paint is peeling and you're starting to rust. Maybe I could just have the rust scraped off, sir. Oh, no, 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 that won't do at all. There's only one way to get rid of rust. You'll need to be repainted. Repainted? Scruff was horrified. He didn't even like being washed. And he was sure he wouldn't like being repainted. Good evening, Mr Gator, sir. My name's Toad, and I'll be your brake van this evening. Very nice to meet you, Toad. Gator and Toad had hardly gone very far when Gator's lamp went out again. Oh, no! What is it, Mr Gator? Is everything all right? Everything's fine, Toad. It's just my lamp. It's gone out again. Your lamp's gone out? Then you must stop and relight it. It's dangerous to cross the island at night without a light. Yes, I know. But I think there's something wrong with that lamp. It won't stay lit. Gator stopped near a junction to light his lamp again. Bill and Ben are tank engine twins. They look very alike. Very alike indeed. <laughs> Morning, Ben! <laughs> Morning, Bill! That's why they have nameplates on their sides, to show which one is Bill and which one is Ben. Bill and Ben like looking alike, because that means they can play tricks on the other engines. One day, Bill and Ben were making their way along the main line when a very fast engine came across the junction in front of them and gave them a big surprise. Who was that, Bill? I don't know, Ben. Thomas, did you see that very fast engine that just went past? You mean Connor. He's one of the new streamlined engines, bringing passengers from the mainland. He must be very full of himself, racing about like that and surprising other engines. Connor's not full of himself. He's a very friendly engine. Express coming through! A big stone flew out of one of Paxton's trucks and bashed off Gordon's boiler. Sorry, Gordon. Are you OK? That stone gave you a nasty thump. Yes, Paxton, I'm fine. You can't damage a big, strong engine like me so easily. You should be checked for damage, though, Gordon. Nonsense. I have to hurry. The express must not be late. And Gordon hurried on his way without waiting to be checked over. Gordon hadn't gone very far when his boiler began to run dry. That's funny. I thought I had plenty of water. Luckily, there was a water tower just ahead. I'd better stop and fill up again. But the passengers were not very happy. They didn't want to be late. Gordon hurried on his way as quickly as he could. But he hadn't gone very far when his boiler felt dry again. I can't keep stopping for water or I'll be very late. 
Duncan, the narrow gauge engine, pulls passenger coaches. He takes people to work every morning and brings them home from work again in the evening. Oh, at last. Oh, dear. Oh. Hello, Duncan. How are you? How am I? I'll tell you how I am. I've got an awfully wobbly wheel. Maybe you should go to the steamworks. Oh, hi. I already did. But Victor told me there was nothing wrong with it. Typical. Have you seen the track at Crossney Curran? No. Why? What's happening there? Don't ask the thin controller, because he says nothing. But every time I pass through, my rivets rattle and my funnel shakes. And now look at my wobbly wheel. But... And to top it all, I've this one passenger who's always grumbling and complaining. He's even had the cheek to say I'm not doing my job properly. Well, you are running a bit late, Duncan. Oh, don't you start. 